Good evening. How are you guys doing? Okay. I am Brenda with Wreaths by Busy Bees Custom Creations. Say hello as you guys come in. Good evening. Whoop. It is Monday night, January 13th. It's time for life. Say hi as you come in so I know who's here. Okay. Hello, hello, hello. I don't see any comments. Is anyone commenting? Sometimes it's just a little weird. Oh, I see some thumbs up. All right. Maybe that'll get the comments going. Hey Sandy, how are you? All right, so I got my new sign here. Remember to like, share, and follow on my Facebook page, and also to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hey Ruth. All right, so um, I know I showed you guys on um, YouTube the other day. Hello everyone. Oh, thank you. So um, I decided I was going to do it here on my Facebook page. I know this kind of looks like a total mess, like what in the world is going on? Let me come in a little bit and show you guys. So I um, decided I was going to do this criss poof, crisscross poof method with um, my 10 inch mesh. And I'm sure someone's done it before, but I'm doing it. So. What I did was I made my wreath frame the way I normally make it with, so we're going to take it by a section, okay? Hey, Nicole. So this is a section in between the two crossbars, or the two crossbars is a section. So I have two, a full pipe cleaner right here on the inner row at the crossbar. And then I have half pipe cleaners, hey, Mary Ellen, on the third ring here and then I have a full pipe cleaner here. Now that's how I normally do my um, wreath frames but what I added was a half pipe cleaner here. So everywhere there's a full pipe cleaner there's a half pipe cleaner on the opposite rung. So what we're going to do is what I call the crisscross hip pattern um, poof method. All right, and we're using 10 inch mesh. So what we're gonna do first is we're going to use all of the half pipe cleaners. I use half pipe cleaners instead of full pipe cleaners all the way around because the half pipe cleaners, I do not put ribbon or anything else in. I just use it for the mesh. So that's why instead of cutting it off or that kind of stuff, I um, just use the half pipe cleaners. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start on a bottom rung here. I have this really pretty fabric um, green and white mesh. And we're going to be using, whoops, this sign I got it from General Wholesale last year. But, you know, we could use this sign too. So we'll see. All right, and that one is in my Etsy shop. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of gather it together, okay, kind of fold the edges under, and then gather it, and then start at one of the back row, or the outer row half pipe cleaner. Now I'm not gonna fold this one under because we're gonna come back to that one and end it. So what I'm gonna do is gather it together, I'm gonna do 10 inch poofs, and I'm gonna go from the third ring, the outer ring, to the inner ring. So again, we're going to do all of the half pipe cleaners first, and then we'll come back and do the full pipe cleaners, okay? So now the rest of the half pipe cleaners, we're not going to put anything else in, so I'm going to, you can cut them off or just tuck them under. So if you guys could please share this video, I would much appreciate it. Okay. And what I'm going to do is if we get 150 to 200 people on here, I'm going to give away this wreath and you just have to pay shipping. So the wreath itself will be free and whoever wants to win the wreath 
will just let me know and then I'll choose from those who want to win it but you have to hey Katie have to pay the shipping so all right so again I'm just going to tuck this under because we're not going to put anything else in it and we're going to spread it out okay and again we're on the back row so we're going to do 10 inches and we're going to go to this half pipe cleaner on the inner row hey Kathy okay hey Priscilla how are you all right, again, we're not going to put anything else in this half pipe cleaner, so we're going to tuck it under out of the way. You can cut them off if you want. You can do whatever you want with them, but I just kind of tuck them under. Hello, hello, Kathy. So then we're going to go from the inner row, 10 inch poofs. I'm going to make sure that's curled under. Hey, Carmel, thank you for sharing. And now we're going to go to the outer ring here, the half inch poof. Or the um, half. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, and again, we're just going to tuck those under. Now, if you, like I said, if you want to, hello, Sharon from New York. We're going to um, get that out of the way. Okay. And again, ten inch poof. And we're going to go. So what we're doing is we're crisscrossing back and forth from the outer row to the inner row. Okay, hey Sandra. Okay, and tuck that under. Like I said, if you want to cut those off, you can. You just got off of work, good for you. All right, and then spread that out. So now on the inner row, we're gonna go 10 inch poof, and we're gonna go to the outer row, the half pipe cleaner. So basically what we're doing is we're going back and forth to the half pipe cleaners first. Okay, tuck that under. Thanks for sharing. And isn't this mesh gorgeous? I just love this mesh. I got this down at Carolina Pottery this summer when I was there on vacation. Yes, I'm going to each short pipe cleaner, which is just a pipe cleaner cut in half. Yep. Okay, so I'm just doing that as my first pass, okay? And then the second pass, we will do the full pipe cleaners, all right? So it's just a different way to do your poofs. Um, I don't know. I just like it this way. My, I did it the other day, and I was like, oh, I really like that. So now we're doing the half pipe cleaner on the inner. We're going to do the half pipe cleaner on the outer row here. Okay, and tuck that under. Hey, Michelle. And open it up. Okay, don't forget to like, follow, and share me with me on Facebook. And then on my YouTube channel, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Alright, 10 inch poof again. Hey, Debbie, thanks for sharing. Sharing is caring. Okay. And again, I just do it this way because um, I don't use the half pipe cleaners. <laughs> okay. I was wondering, girl, like, did she forget again? Hey, Kimberly. I know, isn't it pretty? And it's like a, it's a fabric mesh, so it's really soft, too. All right, again. So I just twist that a couple times. Hey, Jerry. I know. Isn't it pretty? I love it. Love it, love it, love it. The first time you saw comments? Uh-oh. All right, so now we're going to do the 10 inch, and we're going to go up here to this. Thank you, Sandra. I appreciate that. Okay, and we're going to twist that around. Hey, Brenda, how are you? <laughs> okay, open that up. Hey, Sue Ann. All right, so with this, we're going to be back to the first pipe cleaner here that we went into, okay? So we're going to open that up. We're going to do a 10 inch poof. We're going to open that up. Oh, yeah, you have to kind of turn it. Um, when you're using your iPad, you kind of have to turn your iPad the opposite way, and then um, the, you'll see the comments. Okay, and then I'm going to tuck that under. I be good, Tabitha. 
All right, so now we're back at the beginning. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go up here to the full pipe cleaner, and I'm not gonna yank it, because see if you yank it, it kind of pulls that one up. So I'm just gently gonna place it up here. All right, okay, so now we're gonna start the same thing. And now, um, sometimes you have to swipe it with your finger if you're using your iPad to get the comments to show up. Okay, so then what I do, now we're gonna go to the full pipe cleaners. So we're on the full pipe cleaner on the inner row. I'm gonna do 10 inches. I'm gonna find that full pipe cleaner on the outer row. And then open up your poofs. Okay, and again, 10 inches and go to the full pipe cleaner on the inner row. And then open up those um, poops. Hey Beverly Ann, how are you? Okay, so you see how it really fills everything in nicely? Okay, and you really don't use a full roll of mesh either. Okay, 10 inch poof. Go to the outer one. Hello from Nova Scotia, how are you? Okay, so again, we're just gonna keep going along. You wanna make sure those things are tucked under. And now we're gonna go to the inner row. Thank you. So don't forget to um, like, share, and follow on this Facebook page, please. And please go ahead and subscribe on my YouTube channel. Hey, Penny, welcome. Okay, so Georgia, what I do is I do 12 full pipe cleaners for this one. Um, no, it's a sublimation to make the signs. It's not, it's not a, thank you, Brenda. Um, not painting. I cannot paint that good. Whew. So it's full 12 and full half, 12, well, 12 full pipe cleaners and 12 half pipe cleaners using this method. <clears throat> okay, again, 10 inches and then go to the inner row. Hey, CT. How are ya? Okay, and then you want to, um, so see how nice and full that is making the wreath? Okay, there you go, Kathy. All right, 10 inches. Now we're going to go to the outer row. This is a 14-inch wreath frame from the Dollar Tree. 99.9% .9 of the time, that's the wreath I base I use. And then this is 10 inch mesh that I'm doing the crisscross hoof method. Okay. And when we're done, okay, there we go. Just make sure you spread out your poofs as you go along. Or you can do it afterwards. It's totally up to you. Hey, Kim from Richmond, how are you? So again, 10 inch poofs. So we're on the inner row, so now we're gonna go to the outer row. <laughs> oh, thanks, E.T., I'm glad you're relaxing watching me. Okay, all right. Okay, so now we're on the outer row, so we're gonna go to the inner row. Open up that poof. Okay. Fingernails getting caught. Okay. So again, we're on the inner row. We're going to go 10 inches and go to the outer row. So basically what we're doing is we're doing 10 inch poofs and we're just going from the inner row to the outer row to the inner row to the outer row. 
we went around once through the half pipe cleaners and now we're going around a second time on the full pipe cleaner. Okay. And it's going to make it um, nice and full. Okay, so this is bringing us back to the beginning. So I am going to open up that tie so it's not real bulky. Okay, and there you go. Okay, so I'm going to cut that off. And tuck that under. So when you do this method, tuck that under. I'm going to grab the beginning where I opened it up there, and I'm just going to zip tie it right there. Now you don't have to zip tie it, but I just kind of like to do it. Zip tie the beginning and the end together. Oop, kind of went through the mesh. Thank you. I got this mesh at Carolina Pottery this summer. Okay. And then cut that off. And then tuck that under so you don't scratch anyone's door. Okay. Alright. Okay, so. So you have a good deal. Let me show you how much mesh you have left. Now, when I did it the other day, um, I used two rolls and I used two different colors. So using one roll, I probably have, I don't know, a quarter of the roll left, maybe more. So then you could probably use this for, you know, a second one and maybe do a two color one, okay? So isn't that nice and full how that looks? All right, so now I cut 12 of this and 12 of this. Now, I was going to do one of these, but I couldn't decide. I'm thinking it's probably, let me see, this is the sign we're going to use, or if we like this sign better, we can use this sign. Let me know which one you think. So I was going to do a second color for here. I think the green is out because that's too much green. But which one do you think we should go with? The stripe or the dot? What do you think? Stripe or dot? Let me know. Let me know. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do these two and then one other one. So, oops. The dot. All right, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. The dots, okay. Everyone's saying dots and stripe, dots and stripe, dots and stripe. Okay. See, so what I was thinking was this way. You like the wood sign? Yeah. So we would do this and this. Maybe we'll alternate. Maybe we'll do one with the dot and one with the stripe. What do you think? stripe. Maybe we'll alternate. We'll see. Maybe we will alternate. Yes, I like that too. Alright, so let's get this out of the way. And let's cut five more of these. And I'm cutting these to 12 inches. Okay. 
Hello, how are you? No, I did not zigzag in the middle. Nope, I just did around um, the frame. Okay. Alrighty, let's get going here. Okay. Okie dokie. So, I know. Isn't it pretty? Love these colors. Alright, so we're going to use both of these every time. Okay? And then I'm going to um, add either a dot or a stripe. So, I'm going to do these. So we're going to put them in every twist tie. I know, isn't it pretty? Ugh, love these colors. Love, love, love. Okay, so we're going to do the dots. Okay, now I also have something else we might put in. Um, these also. Okay, so we're going to use one of these, one of these, and this time we're going to use the stripe. Okay, fold it in half. I must have cut these two and a half inch ones a little shorter. I don't know what I was doing, but that's okay. It'll work. It will work. Okay. This time we'll go this one. I know, didn't you love the spring colors? I mean, I love the Christmas colors, but when you switch over to the spring colors, everything's just so bright and cheery and, oh, love it. Oops, I forgot to, whoopsie. There we go. I know I saw that. I was like, what did I do? Okay. I love these colors. Love, 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 love. Hey, Susie Brown. How was the Dallas market? Oh, my goodness. I would love to go there one day. Woo. If the black snowball, the, the snow mesh... Yeah, it's regular mesh with like a, like a, oh, what's it called running through it? Okay. Alrighty. Yeah, well, yours might just be a little thicker, that's all. Did I do, yeah, I did it right. Okay. So we're going to do that one, that one, and this time we're using the stripe. I love these colors. Oh my goodness. Love it. <clears throat> hey, Connie. Oh, really? I'm sure. I bet that was crazy, Susie. Hey, Gwen. Hey, Cheryl. I cannot even imagine how crazy that was. How's it going, Cheryl? Um, This I got from Paper Mart. This one? Yeah, this one is from Paper Mart last year. I don't know if they have it this year or not. They had it in um, a bunch of different colors. Casey! Hey, girl! Oh, good. I know it's rough. I've uh, been there, done that, Cheryl, so you need to talk, let me know, girl. Okay. We're going to bring this up.
Oh my goodness. I would love to go to the market. Have, has any of you guys been to the market? Oh, $100,000. Wow. Yeah, mind blown, right? Whew. Yeah, uh, I ain't going to happen here. I'm sure though, right? Because the big, you know, they have to get ready. No problem, Cheryl. It is an emotional roller coaster. I love these colors. Alrighty, so. You both, both broke your elbows. Oh my goodness, that's terrible. Hey Evelyn, how are you? Welcome to my, my channel. I'm going to say channel. I usually say it on YouTube. My page. Please like and share and follow my page. And please sh um, go on my YouTube channel and subscribe there. Look how cute those colors are. Oh, stars. Love it. Alrighty. Thank you. So if anyone, I'm going to give the wreath away. The only thing is you guys have to pay for shipping. So if anybody would like to have the wreath at the end of this live, um, just type in wreath. Like I said, you will have to pay shipping. Hey Grace, how are you? Oh my goodness, love, love, love. All right. I can't imagine breaking both elbows. That had to be crazy. Like I said, you will have to pay shipping, but other than that, the wreath will be free. My gift to you guys for sharing and following and all that kind of stuff. So what I will do is I'll go back in and um, write down everyone's or I'll pick everyone's name and pick a winner and like I said I will um, like do the random Facebook thing and then I will let you know how much the shipping is going to be but I really appreciate you guys and this is just one way to show my appreciation for all you guys on here I'm not cut enough, yes. All right. Lots of people. Yeah, depending on where you live, you know, it could be anywhere from $15 to $20 to $25. I don't know, to be honest. I won't know until I pop your address in and um, give you the price. about done. Hello Joanne, how are you? Okay, just a couple more here. If you guys could please don't forget to like, follow, and share, 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 and then go to my YouTube channel and subscribe. I'm live on my YouTube channel every Thursday night at 7 p.m. Thank you very much, Cheryl. All right. Oh, love these colors. Love, love, love. Okay. Whoop, whoop. One more of each of these. So let's see if we can get up to 200 people on here. 
Share, 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 please. And don't forget to check out my new signs in my Etsy shop. I have all kinds of signs in there now. I'm really having fun making them. If anybody needs a custom sign, I do those as well. Okay, one more. Thank you, Christina. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks, Joanne. I know, isn't it? Oh, this would look so pretty on anyone's door. All right, last one. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you, Nellie. All right, so last one. Okay, so now I have these. My fingernails drive me crazy. I was playing around. Oh, you did? Oh, good. I was playing around with um, some tubing. And I kind of made these little flowers. All right, let me put this over here. So we decided we're using this sign, right? Thank you. Hey, Johnny Lynn. So I thought, awesome. Um, we could, I have green too that I would put here and there. So what do you think? Do you like those little flowers? Hey, Donna. So let me show you how I made them. And we'll see if we want to use them. Okay, so put that over here. So what I did, oh, here we go. Okay, thank you. So what I did was I took, I got these little centers from um, my local wholesaler. They didn't want them anymore. So they're like, will you use these? I'm like, I'll find some use for them. Okay, so what I did was I just took, let me zoom in a little bit. I took some suit, some tubing, and I just kind of went back and forth like three times. All right, and then I tied it around with the pipe cleaner and then kind of change directions a little bit, which really didn't do much, but kind of change directions with it and did three more loops on each side. Okay, and then brought that pipe cleaner up Make sure you grab all of them, okay? And then, hey, Mel! All right. And then just kind of spread your flower out a little bit. And then what I did was, this has a little sticky thing on it. So I took that off and then put some glue on there. And then I just glued this to the center. Mel, how's that new grandbaby of yours? Okay, so I thought we would put some of these on. Okay, so I'm going to go make some more. So I thought we'd do some pink and some green ones to go along with the theme. Okay, so I just kind of went, um, like I said, three loops on each side. And took a pipe cleaner and just kind of tighten that up good. And then three loops this way on each side. Like just something different with the um, the um, mesh tubing rather than just putting it on there. So I was playing around with it. Okay, and twist really tight. Okay. And then get, grab your center. And you can use any center you want. I just like had these and I thought they would look good. And 
and a little dab of glue and pop it right in the center oh good I want a granddaughter I have grandsons don't get me wrong I love them dearly all right, so we're just going to make a couple more of those. So have you, has anyone made any of these before? These little uh, mesh tubing flowers kind of type things. I know, right? Okay, one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, right, with a daisy in the middle. I didn't have any daisies. That's why I'm like, well, I'll just pop these in the center and see. Hey, is it Lachey? Welcome. Hope I said that right, Lachey. So I'm just kind of going back and forth with it, making three loops on each side. Make it nice and full. Um, I actually got them from my wholesaler. They were getting rid of them, didn't want them, so they gave me a whole box of them. <laughs> Um, they were like, will you use them? I'm like, I'll find a use for them somewhere. Like I said, it has a little sticky thing on it. Hello, hello, hello. All right, and pop that right in the center. A great grandmother. Well, congratulations. Oh, thanks, Christina. I love using mesh tubing. Amanda! All right, so let's make one more. All right, so again, all I'm doing is I'm just taking the tubing and kind of going back and forth with it. And you can make it different sizes. You can make them bigger or smaller. I'm doing three loops on each side. Okay, and then taking the pipe cleaner, and you want to make sure that's tight. <clears throat> and then go back and forth this way. Three loops this way. So I really want to try to go to the Sims Pottery spring floral show in February. I'm hoping to go. Make sure you have all of it so you don't want that to pop out. I know, right? Okay. Seventh great grandbaby. Wow. Hey, Peggy. All right, so kind of spread those out a little bit. <clears throat> Okay, get some glue there. And sometimes they don't want to spread out, but you'll get them. So Amanda, are you going to that in um, February? I think Johnny's going to go. Mel, are you going to go? I really want to try and go. We'll see if I can swing it. I don't know. All right, so I think we have four and four. So that should be good. All right, so... Oh, <laughs> thanks, Peg. <laughs> All right, let's get this out of the way. All right, so now I don't know that we'll do every one. I know I really want to try and go, Johnny. We'll see if I can swing it. All right, let me do the pink ones first since these are probably still drying a little bit. So what I'm going to do six girls and one boy i have seven grandsons all right i'm going to take it and put it right there and tie it in with that pipe cleaner um you could really use anything like i have those um Those styrofoam balls, you could use those for the center. 
You can use little tiny flowers. Oh, awesome, Mel. All right, look how pretty that is. You'll draw. I would. I would drive. I would have to drive. I think we'll do a green one here. Yeah. Um, I'm hoping to see if I can work it out. I don't know. We'll see. All right, we're going to put the next one. We're going to do a green one here. And again, I'm just tying it with the twist ties really tight. Two grandsons and two granddaughters. I have seven grandsons. Okay, so I'm just making sure that's in there really good. And then cutting that off. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah, color the center with a little yellow paint or something, right? Look how pretty. Oh, my word. I love it. The first ones I did, I did with wire. I didn't. Um, it's like seven or eight hours, Johnny. Yeah, so it's a, it's a haul. I'm going to see if maybe Sue wants to go. New York and maybe we she can drive down here and then we can drive together I don't know we'll see I don't know if I can work it out or not okay so I'm just wrapping that around yeah because I know I'm not making it to wreath makers live this year so I would love to see everyone oh my stars I love this Look how stinking cute that is. Can you guys see it? Oh my word. Love it. Alright, so now we need a green one. So again, I'm just taking the pipe cleaners there. Hey Lillian. Um, it's in Graham, North Carolina. So, um, Kathy, a friend of mine, lives how I don't know if you're still on here Kathy how far do you live from there so when I came down last time um, her and I drove there I think it was like an hour away wasn't it Kathy oh my goodness look at that love it I don't know where the pink ones go alright <clears throat> So, see this one. No, that's not far from you at all. Yeah, um, I think it was an hour drive, wasn't it, Kathy? Two Sims from your house. The last pink and polka not, is not dovetailed. Oh, I don't see it. And it, you know, about an hour, hour and a half. Okay. So, um, which one? I don't see it. So I'd probably stay with her. Oh my goodness. That's not far from Chapel Hill. Yeah, because I would probably drive down on that Thursday and then, um, you know, go to Sims on Friday because the show is Friday and Saturday and then drive home on Sunday or Monday. Probably Sunday because then that Thursday we're actually going to, um, we just decided that we're going to um, Disney World with my kids. We're just going for like four days. <sighs> Look how cute. Okay, so I'm going to get the sign on and then maybe we'll put these other two. We might need to make more. Um, I think we might need one more. Two more maybe. We'll see. I don't know. Okay. So I got this sign from General Wholesale. I think last year or a year before, I don't know. All right, so let's try to get this out. I'm just gonna get that 
out of there. We can use those staples, but nope, the staples are coming out with it. Okay, there we go. Um, I probably made them about two inches on each side, something like that. <laughs> You're funny, Kathy. I know, we literally like, because my daughter was going and my son was going, they aren't overlapping. My son's going to be there February 28th. My daughter's going to be there March 1st. So we're actually going to, um, thank you, Tracy. We're going to fly down on um, Thursday and then spend the day at... Um, Disney World on Friday with my son and his kids, and then we're going to have Saturday to ourselves, and then Sunday, um, Sunday and Monday, we'll be there. My daughter doesn't get there till probably noon or one o'clock on Sunday, and then we're going to um, be at Disney World with them on Sunday afternoon and Monday, so I'm really looking forward to it. And we literally just decided this. So my husband, you know, he flies a lot for business. So he has frequent flyer miles. So we're getting the flights for free. And then he has hotel points. So we're staying at the hotel for free. So really the only thing, oh, the only thing we have to pay for is our food and our um, tickets into Disney. So you kind of can't beat that, right? Thanks, Tracy. It's five hours. That's not too bad. That's doable. Okay. All right, done. Just hit this with a little hot glue. <clears throat> so I'm hoping I can work it out. Tanya. All right, so let's let that dry a minute. Hello, hello, hello. All right, let's make another um, almost 10 hours. I know, right, Melody? I know, it's a lot. It's a lot, Mel. But like I said, I'm hoping that maybe... Um, if Sue wants to drive down with me, okay, or maybe Katie will, I don't know. All right, so that is a Black & Decker, but they do not sell them anymore. They stopped making them. So, so one, <clears throat> so this was the um, mesh tubing is from the Dollar Tree so I got one two three so I got four out of each color so four um, flowers out of each one a what staple gun um, the staple gun is a Stanley. Oh, I turned that off, didn't I? Okay, and then I need one more pink. Oh, are they? Okay, so we're going to do the pink. three loops on each side and then I'm just putting a half pipe cleaner around it and then doing three loops kind of the other way are you going there to see him Johnny okay I, might, I could probably get another flower out of that one I wonder why Maybe I'll make the loops bigger on the green one. Oh, Mel, I got it from, um, I think I just got it from, from Lowe's. 
Okay. Get this out of the way. We need two more of the floral centers. Um, the white flowers I got from um, my local wholesaler. And they were kind of getting rid of them. So I said I would take them. Okay, so there we go. This one is there. Whoop. Yeah, I like this one. It works really well. I don't have any problems with it. Okay, so let's get the sign on and then we will see where we want these other flowers. Okay, so I'm going to pull out this in here. Thanks for sharing, Rhonda. Appreciate that. Alright, so don't forget, if you're new to my channel, like, share, and follow, please. And then go to my YouTube channel and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I do have a glue pot. Yes, I do. Sandy, how are you? Yes, I have a um, little shore bonder glue pot. Yeah, this sign came from um, General Wholesale last year. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, okay. And we'll figure out where we're going to put those other flowers. Thank you. So anybody that wants to um, have this wreath, I'm going to give it away. You just have to pay shipping. So um, if you're interested in winning the wreath, it would just be paying for the shipping. So just type in wreath. Uh oh. All right, so I think what I'm going to do is put one up here. And shipping, depending on where you live, how far you live from me, could be anywhere from 15 to 25 to, I don't know, it just depends. So. Okay, so I'm just wrapping them around. Cut that off. Okay, put that there. Okay, put one. Maybe I'll put a green one over here. I know, isn't it cute? So I'm just taking and wrapping this around that one. Oh, first day of college? Oh, wow, how'd it go? I know, right? They grow up fast, way too fast. And you blink and they have babies of their own. Okay, I think we'll put a pink one down here. Yeah, it's about, um, from edge to edge, it's about 20 inches. So, you're pretty dead on there, CT. Pretty close. Again, I'm just going to wrap this here. Okay. 
and wrap that around. Hey, Sandy. Oh, Penn State. Awesome. My husband went to Penn State. My parents had a cabin near Penn State when I was growing up. Oh, poofy, like the height of it? Okay, I'll measure it in a second. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Should I put that other one up here? I think I will. Hi, Sandy. How's it going? You keep missing me? I'm just going to wrap that around there. Oh, I know, right? Yeah, we are Penn State, right? Woohoo! Okay. All right. And then do the old shake test. Not going anywhere. Okay. And there we have it. I love those little flowers. They turned out so cute. Hello, Carolyn. How are ya? Oh, he's still at home. Well, that's nice. That saves you expenses, too. Um, I used 10-inch mesh, and we did the crisscross poof method. So, we are good to go. Hey, Carol, I'm good. How are you? All right. So, we are good to go. Like I said, if you want to win this wreath, you'll just have to pay shipping on it. I know. It turned out adorable. All right. So, there we go. I know. My husband went for uh, ceramic engineering, I think it was. Yeah. That's the wreath. Oh my goodness, I love it. And don't forget to go check out my signs I have in my Etsy shop. I'll show you those real quick. So I have this um, Be Happy one. The Be Mine. Little sunflowers. And I have a bunch of Easter ones. The hunt is on. And then... St. Patrick's Day ones, and then Life Begins with Coffee, and then Happy Easter, and He is Risen, and then I have these round ones too. I have this Easter one with the striped background, I have the Easter one with the pink background, Oh my goodness this one is adorable I love this one can you guys see that one I love that I don't drink coffee I don't drink it someone asked for a custom sign so I made that I was like that turned out really cute the watermelon the cardinal and then the bee blessed in kind of a it's kind of greenish it looks kind of looks like and then the orange be simply blessed and then just be awesome and then these are the welcome with the daisies around them I have the pink the purple kind of tan and orange I can't I just can't drink coffee Ugh, can't drink it so those are the signs I know there's more in there um, there's more signs and I'm making more every day so go check out my um, my Etsy shop every day because, like I said, I'm making new ones every day. Yeah, and the signs are ten dollars plus shipping. So, whoops, knock down my uh, thing. All right, so I will figure out who won the wreath and let you know, and I'll send you a message. And 
that's the link to my Etsy shop. They go check out my. Oh, I can't. Yeah, I don't. I can't drink coffee. Ugh, I don't like it. I am in Pennsylvania, just an hour outside of Philadelphia. So depending on where you live, like I said, shipping could be anywhere from fifteen to twenty-five, thirty-five dollars, just depending. So, so I will go through and figure out who. Um, I don't, but I can do custom signs. So if you want a custom sign, just send me a message. Thanks, Shirley. All right, guys, I will be on my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll be there on Thursday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right, guys, you have a wonderful evening, and I will let you know who... Um, Yes. Yes. Hey, Pam, how are ya? My friend from South Carolina. Good to see ya. Um, on my YouTube channel, my face, uh, my, let me see, here's, I put the link to my Etsy shop. Here's the link to my YouTube channel. Whoop. That's my YouTube channel, so if you just click on that, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. And make sure you hit the little bell icon um, on Facebook and YouTube, and then that will um, give you alerts when I go live. Alright guys, I will see you all Thursday night on my YouTube channel. Have a wonderful evening. Good to see you too, Pam. Take care. Bye. Bye, Lillian.